Franz speaks his name, uh, my real name is Barbara, but nobody called me Barbara. But when you can't speak uh, Berbe, you can call me Barbara. Medical nursing. No. Medical, yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm Amy, and I'm a test engineer, but I'm studying nursing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Sydney, I'm studying history. Roberta, uh, history as well. What? History. History. Mm -hmm. Katya, I'm studying and working as a gardener. Gardening. Olga, I'm measuring in world economy. Mm -hmm. Allison, labor and employment <coughs> relations. I'm Russia, psychology. Natasha, the same psychology. Uh, Katka, I study law, but I used to study history as well. Eli, uh, political sciences. Edith, chemical engineering. Ignos, management engineering. Okay. Maybe I ask if I have a question again. <laughs> <laughs> also, it was very nice. And uh, instead of you know building a huge uh, 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 exhibition which would cover almost most of the building, because actually uh, when you enter here and you see this open space, this is how the majority of the Soviet POWs in 1941, 42, uh, uh, yeah, this is the situation they encountered when they entered their barracks. Because they were just empty, there was no bed, there was no, no nothing to sleep on, there was nothing, just the floor. Often even there weren't, uh, a lot of them even couldn't enter a barrack because actually there was no barrack. Because by the time of the first transfer, I can show you that here on this picture, uh, this is the, the camp, this picture is from April 45, but this status all these buildings was achieved by the end of 1942. But when the Soviet POWs improved the situation of the, what they called the camp police, the camp police was co uh, recruited from prisoners of war and was famous to be really rude, really rude with their former comrades. And uh, they tried to bring their own people into this camp police to know so that they could uh, control it. And that's what, for instance, here. Спасибо. <laughs> Он еще не так Through the camp and you come out, out here, which is shorter. Um, from here. <laughs> I don't know, sorry, but <laughs> uh, I didn't know that uh, you weren't told to go take that way. But um, on the way back, you can do that. It's, it's, it's much shorter. But uh, at the time of when, when the camp was established, this place was chosen as a cemetery because here was uh, in another part where, uh, an extra hospital because every camp had to be, had to have. Uh, a separated uh, hospital from the main camp for those who were suffering from spreading diseases. And this used to be here, and that's why they established the first cemetery nearby this hospital. Okay, the whole situation turned out to be completely different, but till December 41 they transported by trucks or cattle cars the, the dead bodies down here. And then later on, of course, as you see, they used these uh, cemeteries around the lake. Yeah. And you see Riza, this is the bridge here. 
and Mühlberg, the one you, you and in Torgau, it's up all up here the, the river Elbe. It's not like Mühlberg is, I think from finance it's about if you cycle along the uh, the river it's, it's less than 10 kilometers. And uh, Torgau, we live in Torgau, 50, 50 kilometers or something. The exception of this extension in front of it is the sort of uh, station from the late 19th century and uh, this used to the station where all the transports arrived here. And uh, besides, the main building used to be a cargo shed, whatever, you know, with an extra track so that the trains could stop uh, inside here and were unloaded here. So uh, usually transports con uh, contained uh, 40 wagons or cars with 50 prisoners. Two thousand per transport, and uh, yeah, we don't know, we don't have copies of that. But uh, in this commission report from 1946, it is said that uh, they found uh, German railway uh, documents that uh, I think more than 270,000 prisoners of war were unloaded here at Jakobsthal. This doesn't mean that they all went into Jakobsthal or Zeitung, we can because we know from the Italians and British and also from Soviet POWs uh, who have visited us that some transports for the Camp Mühlberg, which is only from here, if you would go straight here, it's about 10 kilometers, less than 10 uh, uh, were also unloaded here because this train station is the only station on the whole line which is not in the center of a little village. So you could easily take a uh, safeguard that German civilians are away so that nobody's, uh, you know, only a few people see what, what condition the prisoners arrived and so on and so on. You know, the Poles, because the Poles were more open, and they didn't like the Czechs, they didn't like the Hungarians, so I mean, who was left? I mean, <laughs> Can we like see them? So you like bought some carrots and you think they no. care? No. They don't no, care. No, they would care. Or no, no, they don't care. Okay. Mm. What do you want to feed the pigs? All of them. I like animals. I love animals. To eat? I love any kind of animal. Like what? Oh well, no. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.